Hello. There are many ways to improve the stability of analyte. Let us focus on a few of them. Let's start with a pH control, meaning of acidification. Acid acidification can help to improve the stability. Although the challenge is that uh, extract pH is crucial and also esterification of alcohols can occur. Secondly, also the stabi stabilizers can be added to the sample, such as antioxidants, enzyme inhibitors, esterase inhibitors. Although the challenges are that esterase inhibitors are toxic, some additives itself are not stable, and extract pipetting of uh, exact pipetting of stabilizers is required. One can also improve the stability by protecting the sample from light. Working in a dark or under the yellow light can be a challenge. Reducing of sample processing time can also improve the stability. Time critical processes have to be managed. Also, cold storage and handling, handling on ice or on dry, dry ice can be used. Although every other step, if a dry ice for handling is used, has to be also cooled, this means that also mixing and centrifugation has to be done under the cooled conditions. Cooled storage can also improve the stability of a sample. The storage has to be done on minus 80 or minus uh, 70 degrees. This means also that uh, there has to be freezers available which allows us to store samples at minus 70 or minus 80 degrees. And finally, derivatization at the sample collection can also be used on uh, improvement of stability. Although the challenges are that uh, time, it is time critical and uh, time consuming, and also one has to be uh, note if a reaction is complete, if there are any external mat matrix effects, and also there is a reproducibility issue when der derivatization is used. To overcome this, internal standard or isotopically labelled internal standard is required. This was an overview of possible ways to improve stability of analyte.